Welcome to Microbiology Shorts. These are short videos on microbiology topics. My name is Rebecca Payne, and we're going to talk briefly about the bacterial growth curve. Here's a picture of a sample bacterial growth curve. This is an idealized growth curve, and it shows four phases of growth. I have an animation that kind of says it better than I do, so I'm going to play that now, and then we'll wrap it up, and I'll talk a little bit about what they don't speak of. Growth in bacteria is defined as an increase in the number of bacterial cells within a population. Growth trends within a bacterial population can be illustrated using a bacterial growth curve, such as this one. Growth occurs in four phases, lag, log, stationary, and death. Let's look at each phase of the curve to see what's happening. When dormant bacteria are transferred to a fresh medium with plenty of nutrients, they spend some time switching their metabolic machinery from the dormant state to an actively growing state. During the lag phase, the number of new bacterial cells is equivalent to the number of dying cells, resulting in a horizontal plot on the growth curve. The lag phase can last from less than an hour to days, depending on the species of bacteria. During the log phase, or exponential growth phase, the bacteria are actively undergoing binary fission. During the log phase, the bacteria double their numbers every generation period. The generation period can range from 20 minutes to days, depending on the species. As long as there are plenty of nutrients and little waste buildup, the bacteria will continue to grow exponentially. It's convenient to represent the growth of the bacteria on a logarithmic graph because the numbers of bacteria increase very rapidly with each subsequent generation. When the log of the number of cells is plotted versus the generation, the graph is linear. After the bacteria have grown for a while and they're starting to deplete the nutrients in the growth medium, some of the cells begin to die. The stationary phase is reached when the number of new cells equals the number of cells that are dying. After the bacteria have depleted most of their nutrients and their waste buildup is getting too great, the bacteria begin to die in larger numbers than are made. If the death phase is carried on for a long time, most of the cells will die. If a cell is to survive, it must switch its metabolism back to a dormant state because there are not enough nutrients available for any more growth. So I bacterial growth curve is really an artificial idea. We typically do growth curve experiments in a lab, and so it's, it's not a real-world situation for the bacteria. It is a situation where they get plunged into an environment that has a lot of nutrition all at once, and so they take off, they grow really rapidly, and then they stop growing fairly rapidly. Um, by rapidly, I mean from the start of a growth curve to the end of a growth curve could be 8, 10, 12 hours. So this kind of experiment is difficult to do in a classroom lab when we only have three hours to do it, but we can set it up so that you can see the beginning, the lag phase, and the log phase um, of growth. One of the things that they didn't say in the video was that the li log phase is also called the exponential growth phase, and that's because this is an exponential style growth curve. All right, so this has been another microbiology short. Thanks for coming. Come back again, and I'll see you next time.